at the time, only men could inherit property, leaving Slovkod's daughters out of luck. But the daughters of Slovkod were not content to accept these non-egalitarian practices. The five of them together petitioned Moses to change the rules and to permit them to inherit their father's land, and Moses in turn brought their request to God. <coughs> God agreed that their request was just and changed the rules of inheritance to permit all daughters, not only the five daughters of Slovkod, to inherit property in the land of Israel. Tess, or Tirza, we wish for you that, like your biblical namesake, you always have the courage and conviction to fight not only for what is yours, but for what is right, and that you find the power to make change and end injustice wherever you see it. We also hope for you that you have your great grandma Tess's warmth, kindness, and common sense, and that, like my grandma Tess, you always take joy in connecting with people and in turn bring joy to those around you. The era, which means she who brings life, brings to mind is Rabbi Mayer of the Mishnah 2,000 years ago, thereabouts. Rabbi Mayer is reputed to have been one of the greatest sages, but his greatest contributions likely remain unattributed. Stam Mishnah Rabbi Mayer. His teachings were so widely taught and accepted that many of them are simply incorporated into the law without need for attribution. Rabbi Mayer is also said to have been married to Bruria, a great teacher in her own right, often reminding Mayer of his own flaws. Rabbi Mayer was wise enough to know when to listen to his wife, a very important lesson, <laughs> and smart enough to know that he would only be made better by attaching himself to a strong and wise woman. We hope that Tess Meira, Tirza Meira, has her great-grandpa Morris's kindness, brilliance, patience, and generosity, her great-grandma Marjorie's wit and spunk. We also hope that Tess Meira takes after Rabbi Mayer in humility and her endless contributions to her various communities, and that she knows to surround herself with the best of friends as she finds her way through life. Yeah. We'd like to call on our rabbi, Rabbi Josh Kassam, who you heard from a bit earlier, to share a bracha from the congregation. Hello. Hello. I'm afraid to sing, but she might be coming. So Tess, I offer you this rachah on behalf of your extended community here at Congregation Hamamim. You should know that one of the greatest accolades that a Jew can earn in life is to be called the Ba'abat Shanto, the true master of a good name, a good reputation, a woman who stands for all that is good. 